bansi bye bantu challenge siri safe kuli rentambula mbera ndi mukutia a new populist movement in Uganda is challenging one of the continent's longest serving presidents power, power. With elections in January, the opposition says it's not a fair fight. We are being presided over by a military general who took power 34 years ago by force of arms. And since then, we've been ruled under the power of the gun. The challenge of this country is not about the President Museveni. It's, and it's to do with us, first of all, the community, the Ugandans ourselves. So does the new contender stand a chance? The young, urban and poor have never had such an influential role in Uganda's politics as today. More than 75% of Uganda's population are under 30, and popular musician Bobby Wine, the self-declared ghetto president, is seen as the main challenger to President Museveni. His run for office has excited young Ugandans who want a different future. But public support for Bobby can make you a target. So, what can we see there? Is that you in, in hospital after you were yeah. hit with the, with the rubber bullet? Yeah. Ne wane no? Yalinze. Ah, uh, nakuzomwezi nga havili mumukaga agasti. Bankuwa. Bankuwa yeno wane no gundi yeno. Tuali tuvane hona roboro batichagula nye senta muembale. Polisi elane teka wembela yoku tule mesa. Ah, neta ndiko kubati ya gasi, neta ndiko tukwata. Nibata ndiko kole fujolio nao, okakananga, bangkubye. Bangkubye china nkani, echefa na ganyi zako na rubber bullet. Bwe bangkuba, na guwa wansi, na gen, chatu wale banga, na gendo kudenguru, ngandimu doa liro, ngabantu nze. Police regularly use tear gas and even live bullets to break up opposition events. The BBC approached the police for a response to the allegations of violence against opposition supporters, but they declined to comment. President Yoweri Museveni has held power since 1986 after waging a guerrilla war. And he's clear that anyone threatening the country's security will be dealt with harshly. Bobby Wine hopes his run is part of a bigger movement across Africa. He points to populist protests in Nigeria, Zimbabwe and Namibia as proof that, like many Africans, Ugandans are ready for change. Yes, I recognize that we are up against a Goliath. We are up against a system that is entrenched. But we are confident because the people of Uganda are on our side. But his victory would rely on young voters. Bobby Wine says he is the ghetto president. But the real president, Yoro Museveni, still hasn't given up on winning the youth vote, even in disadvantaged areas like here in Nsambia Chirombe in Kampala. His senior advisor for youth affairs, Liliana Bear, who is just 33 years old, is out canvassing for support. She brought us to an opposition stronghold full of young, discontented voters, the people the ruling party hopes to bring on board. What can President Museven do for us? Because eh? men schools are down now. Many people have lost hope. We are going to be giving money and funds to support the youth. And this is focusing basically on the youth in the ghetto. And also another request I have for everyone is to avoid violence. Come and support NRM. So is that the choice that young people have to make? Join the government. You won't face arrest, you'll get the money you need to set up the business you want, or stick with your position and really, your life's your own, anything could happen. So it's not that the youth must never oppose government. That is your own ideological belief. We have many of the youth who are in government, 
many of the youth who are not in government. But as we are catering for all the political affiliations, we must make sure that both parties don't go into violence. And what's your assessment of Bobby Wine? Everybody says he's captured young people's imagination in this country, in other parts of the world. Where the, the municipalities or the towns or the ghettos, that's where his influence are. When you go deep to the village, they didn't even know about him totally. His way of agitating for power, of making noise, who shouting here and there, I do not believe he'll take him to, 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 to state house of the country of Uganda. Why do you still believe that President Museveni is a good leader or should be the president? You know, when you're in a political party, there is what they call the, 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 the key scorer. You may not want to take him off before getting a clear replacement. And definitely, at an opportune time, you will definitely get another person to run for presidency. I am not among the people who think President Museveni is immortal. Bobby Wine faces tough questions about whether he actually has the experience and policies to be president. But while Museveni has made promises to secure the future of Uganda's young population, many want change at the top. How that happens remains one of the country's biggest challenges.